Hi, we're here today to demonstrate the installation of our new Time Protect connector protector. We have two new devices for our LMR 400 cable. These, these are the LP18-400 NMH-X, which is the end male design, and the LP18-400-NF-X, which is the end female design. These are broadband DC pass multi-strike bi-directional lightning protectors. These are also easy style and they are no brain trim. If you're familiar with our X-Series connectors, same characteristics as our X-Series connectors. Now, just before I start, I just want to mention that these, there's a cost savings involved in eliminating a part. You typically have a connector and a lightning protector. This is the connector and lightning protector in, in one unit. So there's a, there's a material cost savings. There's labor savings. There's a limiting of SKU numbers, parts. There's uh, more reliability, there's one less interface to make up, and there's a slight improvement in insertion loss characteristics. So it's quite a few advantages to using these, these new devices. Let's see how simple it is to, to terminate this. The first step, we take our CCT01 cutting tool. It's always the best way to get started. It gives you a nice, clean, sharp cut in the cable. We take the LMR400, get a couple inches down from the end of the cable, and just spin the tool around the cable. Not pressing too hard. Let the, let the blade do the work. What you end up with is a nice round cable without crushing the cable, a nice square cut. Next, you take our CST-400 strip tool. You play, take side one, place it over the cable until it stops. You start turning it as you're pushing down on the thumb switch. And once that thumb switch bottoms out, you make one last revolution. While keeping your thumb down on the switch, you pull and you expose that center conductor. So you expose the center conductor to the right and left, you've taken the film off the center conductor, you flip that around, there's a deburr tool built into the tool. Just a little back and forth, you put a nice chamfer under that cable. Now you're at side two, you want to make sure that this red thumb wheel is set for crimp. There's two sides, clamp and crimp, make sure it's set for crimp. Place it over the cable, you spin it, just let the tool do the work. It spins nice and freely until it springs freely. Then you pop that tool off and you're all set to go at that point. Take your ferrule. You'd also have a shrink boot. This would come with a, with a shrink boot. We don't have it in this demonstration right here, but it's a heat shrink boot, adhesive line heat shrink boot. You place the shrink boot over. You take the ferrule, place the ferrule over the cable. You just take these round wire braids. You just fold them back slightly. You take the uh, connector protector. Just get it started, just as you were putting a connector on the cable. It's a snug fit. You turn it and push it. You feel it right up on those fingers, the spring finger, brilliant copper spring finger contacts. And the braid wires are going to be right where you want them to be. That's your confirmation that it's on there properly. Those braid wires should line up right with the back of the connector, as you see there. So there's no need to trim the braid wires. The ferrule comes all the way up, and you'll take a crimp tool, and you'll crimp it just once right behind the connector. Like so. And you're all set and you can see there's plenty of the area there for to bring a shrink boot, adhesive line shrink boot up and shrink it. And you can also use our, our silicone tape to do additional weather sealing if necessary. Thank you.